Sounds The Circle is a narrative short film set in the Great Depression era. It's a father-son story about a starving artist, the father, who makes a living off of sketching street portraits of people. He is reunited with his son when he finally has the means to support him, or so he thinks he does. Today was a very good day. So here we have the father who is a creative person who lives his life based off of creativity and artistic endeavors as opposed to monetary and materialistic endeavors. And he picks up his son and he tries to instill those values in him. Draw a circle. Just, just a circle? Yes, with one stroke. How big? You decide. I haven't seen my father in a long time. My mother's died and he, he can, he's a really good artist. It's kind of like I, I find the kids and I beat them up. I know what you stole from my dad. Give it back. Filmmaking has been tethered to the ground for so long, and we've done things relatively the same way for the last 20, 30 years. And, and DJI, with their equipment, with their technology, is sort of allowing uh, filmmaking to be freed. What's unique about this particular film shoot is that we're using new technology to really push the limits of camera language and storytelling. Every single shot in this film is shot with the Inspire 2. It was kind of an interesting way to kind of figure out a new way to kind of shoot this spot. And you know, I'm almost up for a challenge, so I think that's kind of an interesting way to do it. And we kind of figured out ways of moving the camera. We put the we put the drone on dollies, and I, it's, I have this almost like a, a free remote head, which is kind of an interesting way too. We've done some shots of of coming down into a bed where I, I just tilt down and I have this lightweight remote head and just need a couple little pulleys and. Then, kind of made this really simple shot easily. And if it had been a, a bigger camera, it would, that would actually have been a lot more difficult. We did a shot yesterday where we just transitioned a shot and people kind of wonder how you did it. You know, you know the drone's coming in for landing. So we made 3D printed handles, a specialty made just for this shoot, and these handles allowed an operator to catch the Inspire 2 out of the air and smoothly in the same shot transition into a normal handheld platform. You have the operator for the bird that kind of brings it down, then you have an operator that can grab the bird, we safely turn it off, and then we kind of bring it into the shot to kind of finish it off in a way. Well, a seamlessly one orchestrated shot. You almost couldn't tell the handoff at all, even though there was, if you look from the outside, the handoff is pretty obvious, but from on camera, it's, I, I feel like it's pretty seamless. It's been so exciting to see the innovative and imaginative ways uh, Sheldon and Claudio have been using the drone, especially when it comes to interiors and, uh, and, and sh we're shooting dialogue scenes on it, which is awesome. Laws change and Money disappears and buildings fall. Giotto. There's the obvious plus side that comes with a drone in terms of the freedom of movement and the, and the beautiful wide open landscape visuals that you get. But then you can have the consistency of that same image if you're using a drone in ways that it's not typically considered to be used. I think we're both entitled to ice cream. The dynamic range on the camera, on the, on the drone itself, and being able to shoot in lower light uh, and, and using it for both day scenes and night scenes, interiors and exteriors, to me, that's something I haven't really seen before. I hope that people who watch this short film walk away feeling empowered. Seeing that the Inspire 2 was crafted to be such a set-friendly, professional cinematography tool inspired us to create this short film. We saw the Inspire 2, we saw the form factor, we saw how small the camera was and said, hey, let's, let's tell a story with it. The 
if you're not working for a studio and you don't have a 40 million dollar plus budget you're so limited in terms of what you're able to do and everything that DJI is putting out in the market kind of reverses that whole trend and, and, and flips it on its head to some degree so we're gonna have young filmmakers with not a lot of money making really incredible visual pieces and a company like DJI makes that possible. With all this new technology, all these new features, all these new things you can do with the Inspire 2, it still serves one thing, storytelling. I hope that talented people who watch this film go out and tell their own stories.